impressive results in the Kenyan Certificate of Primary Education. The 100% transition to Form 1. Ladies and gentlemen, all the 1,179,192 candidates whose results we are releasing today shall be admitted to secondary schools under the government's 100% transition policy. I wish to assure the country that the ministry has already conducted an audit of all new and existing vacancies in, to ensure that all candidates are placed in schools of their choice based on performance and available vacancies. The Ministry of Education will employ a watertight system that will be both credible and of high integrity. The actual Form 1 selection exercise for all categories of schools will take place on the 28th of May of 2021. A Limu scholarship for the second year running, ladies and gentlemen, the government shall offer 9,000 scholarships under the Limu scholarship program, which was initiated in 2019. In the 2020 KCP examination, the overall performance improved compared to 2019. Although the mark for the highest candidate dropped from 440 to 443 in 2020, the mean average performance and quality of grades of all candidates is higher. For example, whereas 1,393 candidates scored between 1 and 99 marks in 2019, that number went down to only 307 candidates for the 2020 KCT examination. This was an indicator that most candidates scored better than better grades than the previous year. In particular, I'm impressed that public schools have shown in the three overall slots. I will read a few of them because this will be given to the press. The first candidate, who is now the best candidate in the country for this year is female Mumo Faith Kawi from Karimwailu. It's a public school and her score is 433. The, sec the second candidate, another female, was Songa Yubet Nanzala from Chogoria Girls with 432 marks. She is tied in that position with Murizi Angel Gakenia, Maseno Girls Boarding School with 432 marks. The next one is Wanyonyi Samuel Mahanu, Zoya Sugar Company with 431 marks. So those first four candidates are from the public school. Then there's, uh, there is uh, Castro Williams from Crystal Hill Academy with 431 marks from a private school and is tied up together with uh, Tarus Chepkemboi Morin from St. Matthew's Septonok, the public school with 431 marks. The next one is Kikurui Abiyot Ab Ab from Lesos Hills Adventist with uh, 430 marks. The next one, Mwangi Margaret Waruguru, Karatina DEB, very proudly a public school. The next one is Benis Chesed Omondi, Nairobi Primary School, which is just our neighbor here, tying with the 429 marks. Since they are clapping, I'll finish them. The next one is Kyogora Joyce Nkasa from uh, Chogoria, the public school with 429 marks. The next one is Daniel Chris Mboya, Crystal Hill Academy, private with 428 marks, and all the others are tied with 428 marks. The, the next one tied is Njenga Lolwell Mwagambo, Emmanuel Springs Academy, which is private. The next one is Jeff Mutugi, Fred's Academy, 428 marks, private. Polycap Kiondi Ombongi, 
Uber Boys, public, 428 marks, and the last of the 15, Debra Zawadi, Emmanuel Springs uh, Academy, 428 marks. Performance per subject. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to announce that Five papers recorded an improvement in the performance of 2020 as compared to 2019. They are English composition, Kiswahili Luga, Kenya Sign Language Objective, Mathematics, which is thoroughly encouraging, and of course, religious education, which can be Muslim, Hindu, or Christian. Five other subjects uh, showed a drop compared to, uh, to last year, 2019, English language, Kiswahili, Isha, Kenya Sign Language Composition, Science and Social Studies, recorded a drop in performance. In terms of gender, female candidates performed slightly better than their male counterparts in English, Kiswahili, and Kenya Sign Language. Male candidates performed slightly better than their female candidates in mathematics, science, social studies, and religious education. I wish to commend all teachers, parents, candidates for this good performance achieved during a very difficult year. There is a timetable that I am going to release to the press. I will not go through it. But I would say one or two things in terms of comparison, comparing 2020 to, 20, to 2019. When we look at the candidates who are scored between 400 and 500, this year we have 8,091, which is 0 0.68 percent, as compared to 2019, where we had 9,600, which was 0 0.89 percent. But the the earth shaking information, when you come to 300 to 399, this year we have a staggering 282,000, representing 23.67 percent, compared with the 2019, when we had only 223,000. Even of greater importance, ladies and gentlemen, 200 to 299, has 500 and 89,000, representing close to 50%, which is thoroughly commendable. This table will be given to you, and I, I don't think I should go through all of it. Our candidates with special needs, 